Do you remember this? Last year, we had the opportunity to see the northern lights in our area. So many people got excited about it. This is some of the video from last year that people were able to take. I tell you, I tried to go out and see it. I couldn't even see it on my phone, but there were a lot of people that were able to see it. And now, today, there's the potential, again, at least tonight. So joining me is Tony Rice here, who's a NASA ambassador, to talk a little bit about our next chance to see the Aurora Borealis. So um, a lot of buzz. People love to see it. They love to talk about it, Tony. Yeah, I wouldn't expect what we saw last year, uh, uh, around this time last year, this time around. It's not going to be quite as strong, but we've actually got two coronal mass ejections that are heading for us right now. The, the rub of it is we don't know when they're going to arrive. Uh, one is going very fast, the other is going very slow. And talking with our friends out at the Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, uh, they've got some moderate confidence on exactly when it's going to happen. We are pretty sure that it is going to uh, reach Earth, and at least up in the upper parts of the, uh, of the country, they're going to be able to see some really nice views up and up overhead we have the possibility we might be able to see some color on the horizon. So it, of course, most of the time is well to our north. And of course, that's where it's more likely up in Canada, up near the Great Lakes, near the Canadian border. And then possibly visible is just there, say, from New York westward. And we are in the maximum visibility scenario. But when we look at what the forecast was last year, when we were able to see so much of it, we were in the possibly visible and the max visibility scenario was well to our south. So again, it doesn't it doesn't look as likely this time. But still, with two of those coming together, if they come at the same time, does that give us a better chance, or just you know one of them needs to be strong enough? Uh, there is a possibility they could combine forces, if you will. And you know what we're seeing is charged particles that are being introduced in the upper atmosphere, uh, and that's what you're seeing right here. The, it's called a coronal mass ejection. It's this: the sun basically burps and sends out all of this energy our way. Yeah, we've got this graphic here, and you can see so the energy comes out from the sun and it hits the Earth and all those electronic particles hit the magnetic field and then potentially light happens. And so it just depends on if it's strong enough to move all the way down to the south. Absolutely. We're keeping our eye on it because we'll know about an hour beforehand what exactly might be happening. Well, we'll watch it carefully. Tony, thank you so much as always for coming in to explain all this for us. Thanks for having me.